Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Jew Jets Show. And the Jets just had their first ring practices with the Atlanta Falcons. So let's go ahead and talk about everything that happened in today's practice. Joe Flacco once again had another good practice ever since he's been put into that starting role. We see nothing but good play from Flacco. Now, if he does play in the Ravens game and his performance is really good, what should the New York Jets do? Actually made a video on this like three, four days ago. So if you guys want to watch that, it is on my channel. After this video is done, go ahead and check that out. I definitely recommend it but I mean yeah just great to see that we have a good backup quarterback in Joe Flacco and if Zach Wilson is out for a longer period of time or if he gets hurt later on in the season it's good to know we have a stable backup quarterback in Joe Flacco but Brees Hall had a 75 yard touchdown today excuse me I said his name wrong Brees Hall had a 75 yard touchdown today Great to see that our rookie is balling out, especially against an opposing team. I know it's against the Atlanta Falcons, but it is competition. It's not, you know, the New York Jets defense. Someone Brees Hall's been playing for like a month now, but against new competition, Brees Hall's been killing it. And it's really good to see that. Hopefully we can see him do these things during the season. Elijah Moore had a 50 plus yard catch today and Joe Flacco compared him to Steve Smith Sr. in his press conference today, which is always a great comparison. Steve Smith Sr. is going to be in the Hall of Fame one day and he's like, I want to say the only receiver to lead the NFL in receiving yards, touchdowns and catches all in the same season. So that's a really good comparison for Elijah Moore to get. So as Gardner had an interception today, but it did not count because he was flagged for defensive pass interference. He intercepted his old Cincinnati teammate, Desmond Ritter. Good to see Sauce Gardner starting to show his ball hawking side. Jermaine Johnson and Carl Lawson both had sacks today. Good to see Jermaine Johnson's, you know, progressively getting better as training camp's going along. He was really quiet towards the start of it, but you know, it feels like every other practice now we're hearing some news about Jermaine Johnson during the preseason game I was pretty impressed with his performance and can't wait to see what he does tomorrow in the next joint practices and in the preseason game so it's really good to see Jermaine Johnson doing good and it's good to see Carl Lawson is in the headlines for the right reasons at joint practices and he's just going to be a beast this season and everyone had good coverage on Kyle Pitts today at joint practices Michael Carter had a pass deflection against him DJ Reed and Brandon Eccles also had some really nice coverage on him too. I mean, the New York Jets took Kyle Pitts' performance against them last season to heart. Now we're just putting him on lockdown. You know, Kyle Pitts, I don't even think caught a ball today. I mean, I'm not really sure, but I mean, based on the way it's sounding, everyone had some really good coverage on Kyle Pitts, which is good to see. We we had a struggle last season stopping tight ends. Pitts is one of the best in the NFL. So now that we're putting this lockdown coverage on him, hopefully that means we can do it to other tight ends in the NFL. But a really good practice from the Jets today. We were 100% the better team in joint practices. I mean, which is, you know, not really something to write home about. I mean, the Falcons are going to be one of, if not the worst teams in the NFL this season. So, you know, just good to see that we won a practice that we should have won. But tomorrow, we play the Atlanta Falcons or have another joint practices against them. And Monday night, we play the Falcons. Monday night football. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by hitting the subscribe and like button. And I'm your host, Jude, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.